when we were first thinking about what the influences were going to be on the music for Diggs, we didn't want it just to be a, an homage or a pastiche to a noir score. It's kind of, it's a quirky story, it's in Library City, the characters are great and funny, and we wanted the music to have the same individuality and really support that world. Getting Jim to be the composer in Diggs was just the right choice because the music style being that jazz 50s influence it was just a logical perfect choice. Who were the big jazz bands of that era? We looked to people like uh, Count Basie, uh, the Ellington Orchestra, but also we looked at sort of jazz film scores, Anatomy of a Murder, uh, Mount of Golden Arm, we looked at early 60s TV police shows and all of those things came together, sort of coalesced to give us the vibe of the band that we ended up putting together. So the conductor, he's actually guiding and making sure the players are all in sync, working together and the whole performance is really gelling. And having the conductor guiding the band, it means Jim can just concentrate on his music and is it being performed as he intended. There's various themes that run through the game. One of the main ones is Diggs' theme. So you're the one Humpty mentioned in his letter. He seems to think someone is trying to bump him off. It's a kind of classic film noir, trumpet, flugelhorn, solo. There are themes for the other characters, but they all interweave and sometimes they work together. You get little tastes of them here and there. And that was just to try and get that kind of film feel, that continuity of the score, and just to help to tell the story. I'm also going to record the mix via a half-inch tape. It'll just give it a certain warmth and beauty that's been lost in some modern recording. It will give it a nod back to the 50s where we're trying to replicate. In gameplay sections where we need to have interactivity, try to have these sort of longer passages of music that then break down into these little cells where you'll maybe take eight bars, 16 bars together that can loop, that can transition into each other. You don't want to sort of harmonically stay still, particularly for jazz, but you still need to be able to leap out. So that was one of the things to really test before the recording to make sure that worked. 